A so-called pole shift has often led to apocalyptic events in the past of the Earth's history, and now that could be in store for us again. You'll find out all about it in this video, so stay tuned, definitely subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Thank you very much, everyone. Welcome. Magnetism is a fundamental force of nature, and it can be described by a magnetic field that is generated by magnetic objects and acts upon them. Magnetic objects are typically magnets, but also, for example, electric charges, which can also interact magnetically with each other. This effect of magnetism can also be observed on a planetary level. This means that our Earth also has a planetary magnetic field. This is caused by the flow of liquid matter in the outer core of the Earth. This is called a convection current. These currents are formed by rising hot liquid material that moves away from the hot core while cooling and then flows back towards the inner core. This mechanism is called geodynamo and it accounts for 95% of the Earth's magnetic field. So the vast majority, the remaining 5% are generated, for example, by magnetic rocks in the Earth or by the movement of the oceans or even by extraterrestrial influences. But the vast majority of the magnetic field is generated by the geodynamo. So we can imagine the Earth as a gigantic magnetic body that also forms a gigantic magnetic field. But the vast majority of the magnetic field is generated by the geodynamo. So we can imagine the Earth as a gigantic magnetic body that also forms a gigantic magnetic field. And this magnetic field is very important for us. It protects us from cosmic radiation, which if it were to reach the Earth unfiltered, would probably make life in this form impossible. Instead, the magnetic field guides the cosmic radiation to the magnetic north and south poles, and one effect that can be observed is the aurora borealis. The radiation of the sun, the so-called solar wind, as our high-energy solar radiation, is directed to the magnetic poles and ionized there. In other words, the solar wind energizes the molecules of the Earth's atmosphere, causing them to glow. So far, so good. That sounds like we could live in eternal magnetic harmony with our magnetic field. But unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because the Earth's magnetic poles are shifting, the Arctic magnetic pole is currently moving 90 meters every day. Here you can see how it has moved over the past few decades. So it's not fixed in place at all. In 2011, until a few years ago, it could still be found in the Canadian Arctic Islands. And now it has already drifted further towards the geographic North Pole. Measurements from satellites of the European Space Agency show that the movement of the magnetic Arctic pole is accelerating more and more. And it is suspected that it will continue to move faster towards the Russian Arctic areas in the coming years. Why this movement is accelerating more and more remains a mystery. And there is indeed reason for concern. This could indicate an impending pole shift. And there is indeed reason for concern. This could indicate an impending pole shift. A pole shift is the reversal of the magnetic north and south poles. And that's a pretty intense event for a planet. And this is based on a disturbance of the geodynamo. 2001. Every 10,000 years or so, the Earth's magnetic field is destabilized, becoming weaker and weaker, and more than two magnetic poles develop, up to four. And this changes the direction of the flow of the entire magnetic field. When the destabilization then dissipates again, the quadrupole is reformed. Only two magnetic poles remain, but under new conditions, and they often change places, and that is a so-called pole jump. This swapping of magnetic poles can be quite apocalyptic, since the poles move once around the planet, Meanwhile, the cosmic radiation is directed to where the magnetic pole is, so imagine that the magnetic pole is directly above you during a pole shift, then all the solar radiation is directed towards you. This means that you will see the most beautiful auroras above you, but you will also receive the full cosmic radiation. A research team from Australia at the University of New South Wales has come up with a clever method to study the effects of past pole shifts on Earth. They examined a fossilized kauri tree, which is a New Zealand tree species that has existed for the last tens of thousands of years to see if they could find any effects of a past pole shift in its bark and trunk. In 2001, they searched the ancient kauri tree for radioactive isotope C, its trunk. They found increased C in an old trunk section. Because in a tree, its trunk and bark reveal exactly what events have happened to it during its lifetime while it was growing. And indeed, in a section of the trunk that formed e years ago, they found an increased amount of C. The researchers conclude that there was a pole shift e years ago. And they call it the Adams event. And this aligns quite well with many other discoveries that were made around the same time. 
For example, about 42,000 years ago, there seems to have been an increase in the number of cave paintings by prehistoric humans. You may know the characteristic red hands that have been found in caves. And this could indicate that a pole jump at that time increased the radiation in inhabited areas of the Earth, causing people to flee more and more from their way of life outside into caves. Of course, for prehistoric humans, gigantic electrical storms, increased UV radiation, and a change in the global climate were also not without consequences, but for us today in modern society, such a pole shift would be much more serious. Chris Turney is the professor who led the study with the Kori tree and he says, If a similar event were to occur today, the consequences for modern society would be enormous. The incoming cosmic radiation would completely destroy our electrical power grids and satellite networks. And the movement speed of the magnetic north pole indicates exactly such a pole shift. However, we're talking about geological time scales here. That means even if it were to happen soon in geological terms, it wouldn't necessarily mean that we would experience it ourselves. Soon could mean in 500, in 1000 years, who knows, or maybe even in 10 years. We should definitely continue to research this to possibly make preparations 2001. Let me know in the comments, do you really think a pole shift is coming soon? How could we protect ourselves from it? Do you have any ideas about that? Feel free to write it to me. Speaking of poles, in Antarctica at the South Pole, an unknown life form has been discovered at a depth of 900 meters. Totally interesting. Click on the video displayed if you want to learn more about it. I would also be very happy if you also watch the other video because the YouTube algorithm has selected another exciting topic for you from the world of space and science. Otherwise, I would say see you in the next video. Take care, guys.